Good morning, Meshack. It's Tuesday, February 23rd, and today I've been stuck in a loop all day long. This morning, I attended a lab for my computer science class, and during the class, we were assigned several problems to solve and turn in before midnight tonight. I solved the first few no problem, but on the last one, I got stuck. It's a pretty simple compounding interest problem. Essentially, you put some amount of money into a bank that compounds on a monthly basis, and then you're also putting some other amount of money into that account on a regular basis. And it really is that simple. The problem I faced today was not the literal loop. The coding itself is actually pretty simple. Instead, I faced a figurative loop, a mental loop that caused me problems all day long. As soon as I realized that the problem was giving me trouble, I became frustrated by it. And what do you do when you become frustrated by something? You resolve the thing that's frustrating you. So I worked harder on the problem, which in turn frustrated me more and down the loop I went. And as much as I know that it's really helpful and productive to take breaks, sometimes I literally can't do that. By which I don't mean that I can't will myself to step away from my work. I mean that sometimes I'm literally incapable of taking a break, especially when I get caught in a loop. See, I can walk away, I can try and distract myself, I can read something else, I can listen to something, but in the back of my head, I'm really wondering whether or not my solution to the coding lab is gonna require two if statements or three. And as much as I try and stop that from happening, I can't. It also didn't help today that the loop I got caught in was a tight loop. I knew that the solution to the lab was only going to be a few lines of code long. So essentially, I would think of a potential solution, run through it in my head to see if it works, decide nope, and then do it again, sometimes dozens of times per minute. And it's not like I was doing that in a productive way. I mean, most of my solutions were variations on the same thing, hence why I was having so much trouble. But I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't stop myself even when I was in other classes, and even when I didn't have my computer with me so that I could check my solutions. After an hour, then one, then two, then three, my brain started to hurt, and after four, I finally got back to my dorm where I had access to my computer, and I could check my work, and it turned out that one of my very first solutions after I had left my computer was correct. What's this all to say? I don't really know. But I think this instance, and instances like it, are interesting microcosms that offer insight into how our brains can compound problems via loops. I also thought that phraseology was really ironic considering what I was working on all day today. I know I'm prone to getting stuck in loops. Luckily, with coding, there's a definitive answer, a definitive way out of the loop, but I'm also prone to bigger loops. So thinking about how loops work in the micro, in the day-to-day, -day, also helps me think about how loops work in my entire life, in loops that last decades and years. Today, I prompt you to think about the loops in your life and how best you can manage them. And if you're interested, listen to Circles by Mac Miller. It discusses the loops in our lives in an interesting, thoughtful, and comforting way. Meshach, I'll see you again tomorrow. Meshach, I'll see you again tomorrow.